Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. The cousins are back, like we ain't never left. Yeah. Listen, we decided to put our, our queen and our king shirts on today. Yeah. I'm going to stand up, show because you can't really see the bottom. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna, we just come to let you know what the real deal is. No, don't know about it. But anyway. <laughs> We're going to get into Queen Sugar. It's going to be a whole lot of stuff that we're going to leave out because we want to focus in on a few things. And of course, y'all know by the end of this season, everything that happened in this episode, we're going to tie together some kind of way because all roads always lead to Ford Motor Company. Yeah. So let's get into this episode. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is how we just run it. We do it easy peasy, beautiful cover girl over here. Oh, no up, drama, what no stuff. We don't have time. We're too and old we, for that bullshit. And we yeah. just cousins and friends just talking about a show that we just watched. Yeah. That's all we do. So at the end of this, if you like what you see, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free 99. At some point, it will go up. And if you like the video, thumbs up or thumbs down. It doesn't even matter. At this point, you already been counted. All right, let's so, get to it, man. Pleasure, pleasure is black. black. Okay, so we open up the episode where we have Nova. She's basically kind of giving an introduction or kind of shopping the book that she has written, right? The book is called Blessing and Blood. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that Nova, although she's confident in what she has written, she knows she done bucked up. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's just call her, go ahead and call a spade a spade. It, big time. She knows that whatever she put in this book is not going to be received well by whomever is going to offend. Okay, so at this point, we don't know who she's going to offend. We don't know if she's going to offend her father, the ancestors, the older generation, the, the current generation. You know, we, we just don't know. But by the end of this, you'll know too. Okay. And so I'm sitting here, I'm looking at Nova and I'm like, Okay, she's really going through it. And as y'all know, Nova started out being one of my favorite characters. Mm -hmm. And then she started being really, really shady. But we still, you know how when you have that, that crazy cousin in your life that you love them so much, but you always try to see a reason for the error of their ways. Yeah, and you always you try to try, see past their buzz kick. Yeah, and you always see try to potential. rationalize yeah. the decisions that they made because they made this decision because this right here. And yeah. You, oh, so you justify it in your mind and they still good, but okay. this time I just can't justify it in my mind. I this time can't. you just bucked up with me, no Yeah, brother. yeah. If you um, don't bucked up on the level that I'm about to put you over there with the crackhead. Uh-huh. Dog. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. So a lot has happened since the last episode. Hollywood and Avai, of course they got married. But they've been on their honeymoon. They're going they to Thailand. To Thailand. She's <laughs> come back and she's at the farmer's market and she's picking up all this exotic fruit and yeah, she wants to do fresh. this. And Hollywood is looking at her like, who, who is this? Yeah. This is not. And she's like, I'm going to introduce this to the diner. He said, listen, all these people wanted some pies and a burger. Exactly. Stick with what you know. <laughs> stick with what's going to make you sex money. She said, uh-uh. I'm always, I don't expand in my, my palate. And my palate is red to me. You know? <laughs> And so he's like, okay, bye. You know, do you? Yeah, go ahead. But she wants to go to, where does she want to go to? Uh, Australia. Australia. Hollywood said, listen. Said, we just came back from Thailand. You know, you know how long, long that flight is? is? <laughs> you handle Thailand, you can handle Australia. Oh, Hollywood. yeah, for sure, for so, sure. We see a part in there where Ralph Angel, he actually gets a letter from the system. Y'all know what the mm -hmm. system is. And I see all the time coming. One of them peas and Ralph Angel is a free man on paper and I could yeah. not be any happier for yeah, him. Man. But at first, when him and Prosper were standing out there, I said, did he read that letter in a way that it would get Prosper's approval? But he really isn't fully off of, off of parole because the way he was acting was kind of like, okay. And, and then when Prosper food. drove away, he actually let it all sink uh -huh. in and he was actually able to feel that emotion and that release. And he just took off running. Oh, I feel him. That's and amazing. hollering and screaming. And I said, I feel you, Brecker. That's how I felt when I paid them student loans off. Shoot, that's how I felt when I passed that test from my job. Man. I was in that car hollering, but I couldn't, I couldn't holler in the building there. But when I got out in the car, boy. Man. Man. I'm trying to tell you. Yes, sir. 
Boy, when 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 you have a release like that, you don't give yeah. a fuck who's looking. Nope. You don't give a fuck who's taking the pictures. Nothing. Yeah, especially when you know you done put in your time and did what you supposed to do, and now you reaping the reward. Huh. Huh. Let's let's rock with it. Yes. Okay. Indeed. So now it's time for Aunt Vi to actually have her moment in the spotlight. We're having a grand opening for Aunt Vi's pies, and. Done. So we're so celebrating right with Second on, Line and we have Blue's Corner. I mean, it's just a good old, just a good time. Blue over there hustling too. He said, I sold out <laughs> as soon as I got started. But the entire time that we're in this celebration, Hollywood isn't himself. Nah, he And I'm like, what is up with Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. First of all, we're not going to turn him into one of these shady characters because you know how they like to do. Once you fall in love with somebody, then all of a sudden they got a kid over there in Thailand somewhere. Yeah, and yeah. now you got to be mad with them. I was like, okay, what's the deal? Like, is, is Hollywood on some shady mess? Mm -hmm. Like, is, is he dealing cards? I mean, do he? I mean, what's happening? Yeah. Well, come find out. He don't got word that this book, book is coming. Is coming mm -hmm. And he knows his niece. Yep. He says, listen, he got Nova to herself and he said, listen, why you didn't tell us about the book? Yeah, because you don't hide nothing. You always forthcoming with everything that you do. He said, so if you hide in something, it's something, it's in, that something book in that book that you don't want us to know. And he said, if it's a, within 25% of the stuff that I know, then you owe it to us to prepare us for that. He said, because my job is to protect her and to make her happy. Mm -hmm. And if you upset her, basically, that's your A. Mm -hmm. I'm and coming I for said, you. And I said, I will wait for him to yoke her up. That's how uh -huh. much conviction he had. Oh, his oh just, it's coming. I said, what? The yoke is coming. And he was not playing. And I mean, Nova's whole demeanor was, I don't really bucked up. And I'm like, what did you put in this book that would be so... Detrimental. And, and how we know she fucked up? Cause after that, she started having nightmares with them being kids, her Ralph Angel and Charlie being the kids, and then she fell out, and then Ralph Angel and them was they kind of grew up, and they were sitting there staring at her, and they were dressed like they were dressed at the father's funeral. Yep. It was like, what the hell did you do that for? I'm like, what's happening here? So we did see Dollar. Dollar came over to the um to the celebration. Our vibe was cordial enough, and um, even Ralph Angel was like, "Look, you ain't got to she, keep doing she her gave, like that." She gave her some common, common shade. She said, "You can go over there and get some pie and some food before, before you leave." leave. And Ralph <laughs> Angel was like, "Um, Aunt Vi, you ain't got to do her like that. We 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 working this thing out, and we're co-parenting very well." She said, "Uh huh." Uh -huh. Like passing that boy from from <laughs> parent to parent, like <laughs> day old bread. Oh, day old okay. Bread. And he was like, like oh. Like, they all bring what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, but I'm glad that they are trying to co-parent. And then Dollar wants to kind of have an adjustment to her weekend because she has a date. And then Ralph Edge had nerd look like he was in his feelings. Yeah, he was in No, no, look like it. That, that ninja was in his feelings. Little boy. But that's how we, that's how that's how the bros is, though. Because y'all can't stand to have yeah. the visual of somebody else having them bit. Yep, not going mm -hmm. there. Um, Even though we ain't with him no more. Yeah. So later on the episode, I we I got my eye on this girl that Ralph Angel might have his eye on too. Y'all keep looking uh -huh. the little, little little girl mama on the playground. I said that's a good look. <laughs> I hope that I hope they write that in. Yeah. But anyway, so now we gotta figure out what the hell is going on with um with Nova and what she gonna do. So all of a sudden. She's starting to try to go into damage control mode. Too late now. It's too late. Too now late. We're the fire in, already been started. Yeah. Now we're in the middle of harvest. So, of course, after the celebration, Charlie don't hit the ground running. She's at the mill. They, I mean, they have the work. They're doing everything to make sure that this harvest is successful, all this good stuff. So Nova shows up over there and she tries to have a conversation with Charlie, asked Charlie to go out for lunch. Charlie was like, I would love to, but right now this ain't the time, yeah, this is yeah. harvest. I ain't got time to take a piss. So right now it ain't the time. She said, I have something to do tonight. And 
you know, Nova's like, well, I can come with you. I can, I can come. And like, she nah, was like, it's no. not that big of a deal. Maybe you should have went. I said, you should have <laughs> You should have let her go. So she said, you know what? My book is about to be released. I'm about to go out on tour. So go ahead. And I want you to have this. And I said, oh, uh -huh. get in the bob. Uh -huh. All right. So she left the copy with um Charlie. Now, of course, we knew that Charlie wasn't going to have time to look at that. When she got home, she was dead dog tired. She didn't look at that book. Okay, so then she ended up going over there to Ralph Angels. Went over there. He was playing with Blue and whatnot and what have you. And she ended up leaving a copy over at the house over there. And she really was tearing up when she was looking at the house, the pictures on the wall, having all those memories flooding back and whatnot. She goes to the diner. And she slips into the office of the diner. And Drop she put a copy down. on the desk. And like a thief in the night, she slid on out. And the next thing we know, we see, well, no, it's not the next thing we know. The next thing we know is, and we're going to skip ahead, and we're going to go to the juicy part, because this is all that matters to me right now. Yeah. Charlie is receiving an award for, what is it, like the Groundbreaker Award the of the first, Year? First woman, black woman to open a, uh, a sugar mill. Sugar mill. So, yeah. Anyway, she got an award for it, right? <laughs> so she's sitting up there and she's having her moment. This is a great moment for her. Mm -hmm. It's a good look for women. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's just powerful. Everything. So she's up there giving her speech and, you know, she's, you know, talking about women and how we need to stick together. Blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, I said, hold on, do we have a hat look? Yeah. Oh, no. And I had a feeling that somebody, was, was, yeah, that somebody was getting ready to get up and say something. Because it never goes smoothly. Yeah, for, for the Charlie. Show. For the show, for, period. For the show, but especially for Charlie. And Charlie did nothing but show up. She just show up, did her award. She had done a good thing, you know. She and, did this to bail all the y'all out. And she, she still was, getting skidded on. Because she was good. Yeah, she was fine. Even without David West. Yeah. She was good. So she came over here and made everything right. And she's been going through hell ever since. Ever since. So she's giving her speech and this reporter jumps up and was like, so when you talk about women, are you all for all women's rights? And all Charlie was like, yeah, of course, Yeah, of course. What do you, you know, I would like to continue with my speech. And she was like, you know, I had the pleasure of getting an advanced copy of your sister, Nova Bordelon's <laughs> book. I said, oh, it's kid. It's about to go down. And she says, in the book, she detailed about the scandal that Davis West is and how you paid the money and to hush up this woman. And but I mean, just went down the line of the skit that sister to sister should have never got been discussed. Out. Never got out. Never. And my thing is, why? Why? Now, she had us last season thinking that she was going to put some truth out there, but it wasn't. I didn't know that she was going to be naming names and particular <laughs> circumstances and specific stuff. I mean, piping hot I mean, tea. Yeah. I mean, we know on Best Man, I know this movie is old, but it's still relevant. That's my movie, though. When freaking Hart wrote that book about all them and he cheated, uh, freaking slept with his woman, last uh, woman. <laughs> and he, 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 he painted a picture in the book like it was somebody else, but you had to be the person to know who he was talking about. You had to be friends to know that it yeah. was him. So that's what I thought that, you know, everybody's going to be a different character. You might tell the truth, but they don't know that you're talking about your own family. Yeah, only your family know that you who you talking about. You don't do that to your yeah yeah. Family secrets are bad. Yeah, yeah. A majority of us has family secrets, but but don't if I'm gonna get on here <laughs> or write a book or get on TV and tell my family. You know what? Matter of fact, when I do, y'all ain't gonna see me no more. No, they can kill us. Yeah, I'm dead. 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 But here's my thing. And, and somebody please make me understand this. Okay, if we're talking about family secrets and how what happened in the past has led up to the demise and the dysfunction of what's going on today, I get that. And I get that it continues from generation to generation. Yeah. So why are you talking about 
those that are still being affected by the decisions of those from the past. You're talking about a current circumstance mm -hmm. right here and right now as if that is the reason for the writing of this book. Yeah, and your sister is still trying to be healed at the moment. Why? Trying to move on with her life and you reopen. You reopen the wound. But I still don't understand. Yeah, it don't Why? yeah, it don't yeah, it don't make any sense. I'm like, does she have this personal vendetta? Like what's what's the deal? And like I said, not only did you do that, first she messed with her with her ex boyfriend. <laughs> you ain't gonna let up off that issue. <laughs> did you put that in the book? Right. You was messing with the with the, with, uh, the married, with the cop. And he married with a whole freaking family across town. Where's the women's rights and that? Did you put that in the book? You freaking got an herbal shop selling weed. Did you put that in the book? Did you put it in the book? No. Probably not. As the world turns, keep the colors in the line. Take flight. So I'm like, okay. And yeah, I, I don't see the end game. Like you said, I don't I, 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 I don't see where, where it's where Like, it's where going. did this come from? The only part that I see now is that you done pissed off your family and they're going to probably disown you and be pissed off at you for a long time. So... Naturally, <clears throat> after Charlie is humiliated for the umpteenth time in public, I mean, God knows how many times is this girl going to be re-victimized for real, for real? Yeah. She goes home, pours her a whole bottle of wine, looks like to me. I said, give me a glass too, I Charlie. I said, I need it too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shoot. she sits down and she starts reading the book. And we know that she sat there all night and read that book because the next morning, mm -hmm. she called Ralph Angel. And she told him, she said, Ralph Angel, mm -hmm. did Nova bring a copy of that book over to the house? He was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So have you read any of it? No. She said, yeah. promise me yeah. that you will not read anything in that book until yeah. I, I get, get there. there and I have a conversation with you. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell did she put in yeah. that book? About Ralph Angel. Because we know... We Ralph Angel is this sensitive. It don't take much to send I him. Said, it don't take much to send him over the edge. I said, thank God he just got off of parole. Oh, because he was showing up for me going back he to was prison. Going. <laughs> okay. So in true Ralph Angel fashion, curiosity kills the cat. Like yeah. it's almost She like, should have never even called him. She should have just said, said, Ralph, you home? I got something I need to talk to you about. Yeah. Yeah. Meet me on the porch and do something. But don't, yeah, don't, don't even mention the particular. Yeah, because yeah, Because like we said, curiosity kills the cat. Just like when some when you tell a kid don't touch that day. Yeah, it's a kid thing. So he sits down and he begins to start reading the book. And the book is talking about Ill illegitimate children. Um, it was that he real fragile. That everybody in the family knew that his son wasn't his. Yeah. yeah. And yet we all sat around and act like it was because he was fragile and he was not able to handle the truth. Like, I'm sitting here like, like, why? What the fuck was this about? What? What? Okay. I say I can see the blood in this, but I don't see the blessing. The blessing is she gonna end up dead. <laughs> That's the blood too. Shit, hell, sometimes you got the shit. Jesus shed his blood. She need all of Jesus' blood right now to cover her. Okay. So over there at the diner, Hollywood came across the book before I did. So he started thumbing through the book. And he started reading a couple of pages and a paragraphs. Hmm. And he came up on, on a part where it was talking about women and whole bunch of blase, secrets blase and, and secrets and strong <clears throat> women. And she said, take my unvive, for instance. Name it, names. She's everything but, but strong. I was like, what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Nova. Now, I will try to rationalize this. Because sometimes I have to check myself because I'm one of those people that I have to look at things from the perspective and, and kind of put it in the era of which things had happened. And like a lot of times, like I, 
I look at like my grandmother and people like that that were in horrible, horrible situations and horrible um, relationships and things like that. And they stayed and they made the best out of it because really that was all they knew. They didn't mm -hmm. know anything different. They really didn't have the outlets that we have now, the protection that we have now, you know, options. So sometimes when I look at them and I'll be like, oh, I would never, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. In some instances, I'm like, yeah, that's not what I consider a strong woman. But they were strong. Yeah. They were strong with what they had to deal with. Yeah. They were strong with the options and the opportunity mm -hmm. that they had. They mm -hmm. did the best that they could yeah. with the resources that, that they, they had. had. Exactly. Now, if you put that scenario in today's time and you had someone like me, my age, dealing with something like that, then I will be everything but strong. Yeah. Because actually, they were stronger yeah. than us. I mean, we are weaker than they are. Cause yeah. we, ain't, we ain't dealing with nowhere near the stuff that they dealt with, you know, to get to where they are. Yeah. And so, by her surviving all that, get, getting strong. getting sick, being there for Blue while Ralph Angel was locked up, being, being there, there for you. you. Come on. Yeah. While you going through all your books, get supporting you, and you gonna write in the book that she ain't strong. Oh. And here's the thing. That you didn't even tell her to her face. Why you couldn't tell her to her face that on oh, vibe? You appear to be strong, but I think you are weak. And you explain what that meant. Yeah. <clears throat> because unvised and my my uh, unvised strong and my strong could be totally different, but they're still strong. Yeah. Still strong. And, and I just don't get it. I, I yeah. mean, I, I don't get what this I, angle is. And yeah. even your own father, Nova Bordelon, got over on his sister. Yep. He took her house from her yep. in order to save her life, to get her from an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. He took her house. Yep. So, yeah. No. So, maybe, maybe next episode is going to be a flip. Maybe the, I, I don't know, but I don't see it right now. Okay, so and for and for right now, I'm just pissed off, me and, I, too. and I want them to take Noah and throw her overboard, <laughs> and 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 I don't know. She just needs to go. And so we're gonna close with this at the end of the episode. Well, the end of the episode for me. She is over at Daddy Boy Alone's grave. Like for what? And she's crying her heart out, and she's telling him, you know, I know. That I've probably upset you today, and I know that the, basically the heavens are opening and closing at the same time, and I've made a whole lot of people upset, but people don't understand my work, and I hope that my people will understand my work. <laughs> I said, I what? Wish, I wish your daddy could come through the grave and smack the skit out of you right now. Just the hell you write that book for. I don't have a problem with the book. No, I, make it make sense to me. Yeah. And don't be putting a whole bunch of people under the bus that aren't ready to be trampled over like that. Or not talking to them first. That, that's that. Just period. Talk, make it plain to them. I'm going to put you in my book and this is why I'm going to tell it. Are you good with it? And this is how I'm going to flip these pancakes so they're going to be good to the public. So they're going to eat your story and they're going to be happy and they're going to be healed. And you're going to be good afterwards too. Exactly. Because you're going to be free because your stuff is out there. And it, listen. Yeah. But you hiding it because you know you was wrong. But you hiding here's the you know thing. Wrong. And I hope it happens the way it needs to happen. Charlie gets on the phone. She makes a phone call. Mm -hmm. Charlie was so like, lawyer. I need you. To put a cease and desist on my sister Nova Bordelon's book. Dang. Immediately. Dang. I said, that's right. Yeah. Shut it down. Mm. Shut it down. And but it's bad it, that she had to do that, though. To your sister. Yeah. But here's the thing. It's almost like when you make a post. Post and deletes don't work. Once it's uh, there, once it's out there, it's out there. there. So you don't know who got their hands on the copy. So even if the only thing she probably can stop is is the publisher the mass yeah yeah and even that, that it probably will be the be delayed but it's probably still gonna go out there because a lot of money been put into it so yeah so it's i mean the damage is all first of all even if no one else ever reads this book the people that the people that it offended the most have read it and they still have it mm -hmm. 
and they know what you feel. Yep. So I'm more like, who else in the book? Is Prosper in the book? Don't even say nothing like that. And I'm like, Prosper gave you all kind of good. Matter of fact, Prosper gave you a blessing on your book, so you need to enjoy your success to the fullest, not knowing that you was in there <laughs> skitting on your family. Because if he known that, he wouldn't even told you that. I don't even know. Huh. But before we close the show, we've been gone from the channel for a while. We've been traveling a little bit, doing our thug visual and whatnot. Over on our main channel, we actually have a few more videos to put up. But as of right now, we have four, four videos up of our vacation. We had a motherfucking good time, good God doing yeah, time man. on our vacation. Yeah. We went to the Bahamas for the second time. The first time I didn't like the Bahamas. This, but this time, but this redo. This redo though, This man? redo was everything. Everything, like. So if y'all want to go over there and check out those vlogs, you'll see a whole bunch of our family members. About 30 of us that went over on to the Bahamas. Had a good guy doing time. Check that out. The link will be to the yeah. playlist will be in the description, description. Yeah. below. If vlogs and having fun and all that kind of stuff ain't your thing, don't worry about don't it. Worry about we'll be back next good. week. Yeah. We'll be back next week. So until next time, Strawberry. From the VA. The yeah. Dirty, dirty sound. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.